Hello, everyone. Welcome to Open Infrastructure Summit. My name is Hao Wang, came from Fiber Home Company. My colleague Lin Xiangchen and I will share our topic about the edge computing today. As we know, now edge computing is developing rapidly over the world. From 2019, the Fiber Home also has its own edge computing solution based on ThymeX and other open source projects. We are trying to improve the efficiency and the innovation in different areas like 5G, industrial internet, intelligent plant, and so on. So in this breakout session, we will share some experience about the issues we solved and also some thinking about the future of edge computing infrastructure. Today, we are going to talk about the edge computing solution of Fiber Home, use cases and the issues we met, thinking about the future of edge computing. Okay, so first, I want to introduce the history of edge computing in Fiber Home. The Fiber Home is an internationally information and communication network products and the solutions provider. We are focused on cloud from 2010. And in 2018, we started up to research and develop the edge computing infrastructure cloud from platform. In 2019, Fiber Home joined in the Starling X community to make our contributions and also leading the China national project of edge computing research. So now, we release Fit OS Lite 2.0 platform age. From those years, Fiber Home gained some certification and awards in edge computing area, like Edge Cloud Leading Solution Award in Open Info China Days. Participate in making three industrial standards and white papers of edge computing to promote the development in China. With the development of edge computing, we met more and more customers' requirements that we summarize them to this list. You can see there are different requests between edge cloud platform and edge node. For infrastructure hardware, there are more kinds of hardware requests for edge node than edge cloud needed. As same as the operating system. For cloud platform, basically user needs the container in virtual machine and the bare metal both. But for each node, light virtualization is a significant request that we need to run container in bare metal, which has limited hardware resources. For operation, Customer pay more attention to zero touch deployment and the failure handling for remote edge nodes. In addition, AI ops technology will be brought into the edge area too. For security, we think they need a full stack security solution for both edge cloud platform and edge node, including the net security virtualization and uh, container security, data security, OS security, and so on. So to meet those requirements above, Fiber Home is seeking and building the technology stack of edge computing to support different industries application platform like electronic equipment manufacturer. We build edge cloud to work like a brain to provide the standards API to support those applications. And also manage those edge nodes, which are more closer to user. Through the different kinds of network, that 5G, LAN, PUN, we provision three kinds of edge nodes to meet various scenarios or requests. Like edge cloud, there may also include ICE to SaaS services, but more lighter and flexible. Of course, the edge cloud and the node are not alone. 
they have interaction with other bigger and more computing power clouds, like public cloud and enterprise management cloud owned by user himself. To implement the full stack, we must need a reliable, fixable cloud platform. That's why we choose to develop the field OS for edge computing based on Starling X project. Based on it, OpenStack and the Kubernetes cloud could, could be spotted together to provision virtual machine containers and the bare metal workloads. We enhanced the virtualization layer and planned to add more components like AI option and the security control. So next, I'm pleasure to introduce my colleague Lin Xiangchen to show you what use case we do and the issues we met and solved. Oh, hello, everyone. Thank you, Hao Wang. I'm Lin Xiangchen from Fiber Home. Next, uh, let me share with you some use cases and issues encountered by Fiber Home in the edge computing field. Uh, earlier this year, we participated in a POC pilot project for edge cloud in a domestic telecom operator. The main requirement of this project is to deploy edge clouds in two cities. These edge clouds can provide virtual machine and the container services, then deploy VR and the face recognition applications on the edge cloud. While the edge cloud resources are also provided for VCD and business use. In the future, an edge cloud management platform will be deployed in the center city to achieve unified resource management and application management. This project is a good test for our edge cloud platform based on Starling X. Uh, thanks to the Starling X community. Uh, the next edge computing application scenario we're doing is the new VR experience provided by edge cloud collaboration. Deploy edge cloud in areas close to users. Install 8K VR panoramic cameras in business halls or scenic spots and upload them to the edge cloud after being processed by the VR stitching workstation. And the VR and the user will the VR content can be obtained nearby to achieve lower latency and a better user experience. In the future, we can continue to study the use of powerful computing capabilities at the edge in combination with AI to provide users with intelligent media experience, such as free perspective and emotional perception. In the process of this edge cloud engineering implementation projects, we summarized the three scenarios and the most of the operator customers for edge cloud. In most the scenarios, the edge cloud system is, is divided into three layers, and the top layer is the edge cloud management. It's responsible for the unified resource scheduling and the management function of multiple edge clouds. This layer generally implements unified scheduling and the management of two resources of OpenStack and the Kubernetes. The regional edge cloud in the middle layer is responsible for the processing of slightly larger edge service and the management of remote edge nodes. The bottom layer is generally a remote edge computing node or edge gateway, which is a relatively lightweight implementation of the edge. Each layer is generally connected through the three-layer routing method. Among them, the regional edge cloud in the middle is also divided into three modes, namely edge container cloud platform, edge virtualization platform, edge container and virtualized co-platform. For the first two modes, both can be achieved through start, starting X. While the third tab supports both container cloud and edge cloud, you need to provide a virtual machine or bare metal on the top of existing starting X, and then implement the configuration and installation of the Bitcoin container platform. We will briefly introduce our implementation scheme later. As mentioned earlier, Operators and industrial edge computing 
have different requirements and definitions for edge cloud. In the aforementioned edge cloud POC pilot project, it is required to use the four edge node solution. The picture on the left shows the distributed cloud solution provided by StarLinux Multi. And the edge, it is a comp complete sub cloud and with control plane functions instead of remote computing nodes shown on the right. The scenario on the right needs to extend the edge nodes and solve the three layer routing make communication problem. And therefore, we implemented it based on secondary development of StarLinux. The StarLinux work node is deployed and configured across layer 3 under the agreed time delay of 50 milliseconds. It reasonably solved the problem and, uh, of the remote computing nodes. We encountered an issue uh, during the implementation process in the development process using all-in-one or standard mode. When there are more than 10 computing nodes, the application of apply of SDX OpenStack failed. The error prompt is that Amanda deploys OpenStack neutron ham charts failed. After investigation and analysis, it was found that the reason was that in the ham charts of OpenStack neutron, the relevant configuration atoms of neutron agents of the computing nodes were duplicated, which caused the Amanda integrity manifest file to exceed the one megabyte size limit of ADCD. Therefore, the way to fix this problem is to extract the common configuration atoms of neutron server and the neutron agents by modifying the charts of OpenStack neutron, OpenStack helm neutron. The next uh, issue we encountered is IPv6 dual stacks. In the current transaction from IPv4 to IPv6, customers such as operators have increasingly urgent demands for IPv6 dual stack. However, the current Astonix community support for IPv6 is sli slightly insufficient and basically does not support dual stack. Therefore, we focused on this feature. Starting from the configuration of StarLinux SysMV network configuration to enabling feature gates of IPv6 dual stack in Kubernetes, and then to Calico's dual stack configuration. Then modify the relevant charts of OpenStack Helm, configure the dual stack of OpenStack, and finally realize that the virtual machine or pod container can obtain the IPv6 and the IPv4 addresses. The the configuration on the left is the result of the final modification and was parameter configuration items when deploying control zero. We mentioned these three scenarios and the modes of the edge cloud. In some cases, the ICE virtualization management platform already exists at the, at the edge. Therefore, customers need to deploy their Kubernetes container platform inside their OpenStack virtual machine or bare metal. Our fit count container platform is based on StarlingX because StarlingX block service is a very good solution to the reliability and the operation and the maintenance of Kubernetes basic service. So we need to try to install StarlingX Kubernetes container again in the virtual machine or bare metal provided by the containerized OpenStack in StarlingX. In response to this problem, we started with Star OpenStack starting the PXE boot virtual machine, modified the StarlingX Kickstart script, then use hit template to create OpenStack virtual machine and the network resources. And finally, implemented StarlingX nested deployment using StarlingX deployment manager, which called zero touch programming. Okay, uh, that's all for the introduction of the second part. Uh, give the rest to my colleague Hao Wang. Thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you, Li Xiang. Next, I will introduce what we are thinking about the future of edge computing. What's the important point we should concern in the next set step? As we all know, security is the more important point that we should focus on, especially in edge. Not like those big data center, it is more complex and harder to protect those edge cloud or node. So we think there are five layers that we need to pay attention, which is 
physical environment, computing environment, boundary of cloud, network and management. There is also needing a stack of security technologies to be considered. So as this stack showing, we consider the each cloud platform should have security protection features from bottom layer to top layer. Most of the features we have done, but still some works need to implement, like the, like the security management, which is including the security configuration, security policy management, security alert, so on. Okay, that's all we want to share with you. Thank you everyone, bye.